Hello, and welcome back to my book review channel. My name is Phoenix, and I'm so glad you're here with me today. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Natalie Tan's Book of Luck and Fortune by Roselle Lim. Um, this book is uh, the, the type of person who would like this book, would like, likes Asian themes, an easy read, very descriptive, almost poetic um, romance, a little bit of a ghost story that you don't even realize. That, that was that was interesting. Women's fiction, foodie, and magical realism. Um, the basic premise of the novel is that Natalie Tan has been traveling the world for the last seven years because she is pursuing her culinary education. She wasn't able to get into a school, she couldn't afford it, and she's been traveling. Unfortunately, she has been, um, she's cut off contact with her mother because they argued about it, um, about her culinary education. Her mother didn't want her to pursue that, that education because her, Natalie's grandmother owned a restaurant, which was a big part of their community. And there was a falling out between the grandmother and the mother. So then history repeats itself and Natalie has a falling out with her own mother. Um, Natalie comes home because her mother passes away and she needs to take care of the arrangements. She sees that her once thriving community, she's from Chinatown in San Francisco, and she sees that her once thriving community is not only falling prey to gentrification, it's just a, the, the street that she lives on, like nobody is venturing down anymore. It's dark, it's gray. Um, and that's kind of where the magical realism comes in as things pick up, like the gray kind of goes away and then red comes in and bright colors. So um, the, the other interesting thing is that she finds out her grandmother had a restaurant that they lived above. So here's where it's kind of like, she lived there all those years and she didn't know there was a restaurant beneath them. Like, cause I mean, she wasn't a kid when she moved away. Um, so anyway, she finds out that the home that she lives in, there's a restaurant underneath. It's small, but she is left it in her mother's will. And she goes to the neighborhood uh, tea shop and she has like a little reading done. And she's told that she has to help three of her neighbors in order for the restaurant to be successful and for the neighborhood to come back. So that's the basic premise. And I did enjoy the basic premise. Um, the rest, one of the things, so I had a few problems with the novel. The first one that I think is just like an experience based thing. Um, Roselle Lim says early on that because Natalie has such, been such a traveler and moved from place to place, she hasn't made many friends. And I just, and she's, and on top of that, she's working in the restaurant industry. And from experience traveling and working in the restaurant industry, like that's not the case. You, I mean, even if you're the most sour faced person and you don't want to be friends with people, if you spend a month in the restaurant industry, you're going to end up being friends with somebody. You're going to have friends. And when you travel, you end up making friends out of necessity sometimes because you don't know how to do things on your own. So you have to have help. And it opens you up in ways that when you're in your own country, that doesn't happen. So I had a real problem with that when I read it. So that was the number one thing that just kind of frustrated me. Secondly, this is not a complex book. The it's, you know, what they say is what they mean is what they feel. The love character that is introduced, I mean, I don't want to give it away, but like, that's, that's that. There's one guy and that's that. Now, everybody is very straightforward. Um, it's a very simple novel. I would recommend reading this book after a long week at work when you don't want to be challenged. If you're on the beach and you know you're not going to pay like a hundred percent uh, attention because there's a lot of repetitive stuff in here. She has a fears about, um, or Natalie has fears about opening the restaurant and she tells three separate people the same thing. So it kind of, it's very repetitive. There are recipes in here which are really cool and interesting. So she, 
ends up um, getting a gift that has recipes in it. And I don't want to spoiler alert, but she does get this gift and it has recipes in it. And I can tell you more, but you read the recipe and the recipe tells you like, it's kind of like, um, okay, if you make this soup, this is like to bring people together or end arguments. And so it's really interesting. You know, it's like a full recipe. And then she tells you what she's doing. So it says Julian carrots. And then she's like, and Natalie was julianing the carrots. It's like, I don't care. Like, I mean, it was so annoying to me. Like, I know she's going to julian the carrots because it's in the recipe. So I felt really frustrated. Um, but I do want to say the positive aspects of this book. It's very poetic. The imagery is wonderful. I did, again, I really did like the idea that she was bringing up that, you know, if this person helps three other people in their neighborhood. And like, those were cool. Like the way, the different people that she helps and what she's trying to achieve and subsequently how she kind of grows from it. Because one of the, it, like, there are just so many things that I felt like didn't tie in. So the one aspect is that she felt when she was younger, oh, I left out a whole thing. Her mother is agoraphobic, was agoraphobic. And so she didn't leave the house. Their, her father abandons her uh, as a young girl. And so it's just her and her mother. And she feels like the neighborhood didn't really watch out for them. So she does have a shift in perception, but it's like when she has this shift in perception, it's almost like, where did she come up with that idea in the first place? It was just kind of bizarre. And then there's just this, like the ghost situation. It was just so like, like I said, it's not very complex or complicated. When she realizes that there's this ghost in her life, it's just like, there's no oh my God, I've been talking to a ghost all these years. This is like crazy. Like I, my mind is blown. And then guess who this ghost is? Like none of that. She's just like calmly accepts it and is super excited to see the ghost. And I, I don't know. I, I, this was not my favorite novel. Um, but you know, there were some really great elements in it, but this is not like a must read. Um, it's very repetitive. It has vibrant descriptions. Um, she has a really great love of music and art. So that was kind of interesting. Um, let's see the, the pacing of this novel was, I mean, it was slightly slow, but I felt like, you know, that was another redeeming feature is like, it didn't drag out. It wasn't like you know, oh my God, get through it already. It kept moving. So I did, I, that wasn't terrible. It's just, it was those simple, certain things were like, you know, she, she was really anxious about opening this restaurant. She goes like three separate people. And now I'm doing the same thing. It was so repetitive. I'm repeating myself. So that's really all I have to talk about it. Um, yeah. So I'm giving this book a four out of 10. It would be like a good beach read. Or just something where like you have had like the longest week and you don't want something to think about and you just want somebody to explain it all to you and you just want to buy. Oh, and I, one other thing I did want to explain because if, if this is your kind of thing, this would be really interesting. So like I said, like with the recipes, how they say that um, like use this one for bringing people together. Like there is like some magical elements to it. So it was kind of fun in that sense that like, um, a, a, like a food dish could bring people together or make somebody happy or make somebody lucky or make people fall in love. It was, it was interesting in that regard. So there were redeeming features, but I, I, the, this is not for me. Um, but I do think it does have redeeming qualities. It's just not my particular taste. I do think that, you know, a lot of people would enjoy that novel. So I don't want to put it down and say like, don't read it. Just make sure that those are the type of things. And you do want a very simple, non-complicated novel. If you're going to pick that one up, don't, don't be like looking for something super involved and intense that you're going to get into because you're just not. So Thank you so much for being with me here today. Um, I will be back next week with another book review. And it's been wonderful. Have a great week.